What's up guys, Triangle of Mass here. In today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at this abandoned retro Burger King. Please make sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Peace. Hey, how you doing? How are you? Not bad. Fine, I'm kinda hungry. Are you? Yes. That's good, cause look over there. What? You see what I see? Whoa, double cheeseburgers. Exactly. Watch this, you're gonna like this. Here we go, coming through, playing through, fellas. Watch your back, watch, got it. I. Oh, thank, 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 thank. Not bad. Burger it's... King BK Doubles, featuring the barbecue bacon double cheeseburger and the new salsa double with jalapeno cheese. BK Doubles, only at Burger King. Aha! Hey, you got it. Congratulations. Give me that. Give, give. Right, guys we're checking out this abandoned burger king take a look at this this floor is all just like moss and dirt and stuff growing inside so excited to finally get into this place like look at the tables they're all green and stuff like that this one is actually blue i mean purple so that's really interesting to look at. I was looking at these little style things on the table here, the design. That is the only one I see that's like that in this entire restaurant. So maybe they had this design first and then they swapped out to this design. I'm not too sure, but it's definitely something really cool to think about. It's definitely been here for quite some time. Not sure when this closed. Again, I love the design of this place. All these tables are just like, for the most part, are in mint condition. Except for this one. This one looked like it's been through some things. Sorry, my feet are like super crunchy because of all the glass on the floor. But yeah, look at this old design too on top of the, uh, the thank you as well. Top of the barrel. So I'm guessing it's gotta be like 80s into 90s, possibly. Oh, there is another purple one right here. Sorry about that, guys. I thought that was the only purple one in here. I mean, look at this. The, uh, the tables all line up so perfectly with the menu board. Oh yeah, there are some other purple ones here too. From this side over here, it looked like there was no other purple ones. But I guess it's just a mix. Obviously, too, I'll be getting different angles for you guys, too. And check this out. Super old lighting here. I'd love to see one of these um, inside the restaurant in, like, very new condition. Like, not destroyed, nothing. But I think they're all destroyed, unfortunately. Take a look at this, the tile on the wall there, the wood. We even have this little countertop area right here too. And look at this guys. I'm looking over here on my side and you can see this really old box TV thing right here. You'd have like a box TV right there. Wow. 
watch her shows and things like that as well. Again, look at these barrels here. Super unique. Someone's outside right now, but look at this. These are unique too. I really like these. I'm thinking there was like, these were like little window things, like there was glass inside of this and there was like a logo. Either said Burger King or something. And while I'm in here, I'm trying to figure out where exactly would they put the crowns for this location for the little paper hats that they had here. I'm gonna go check out the bathroom. It smells super moldy in here. Does not smell like the McDonald's bathroom. I'll tell you that much. Look at this though. Really, really old light system. Got the pink here. There's definitely some mold in there. <coughs> so I don't wanna be in there too long. Look at this beautiful wallpaper we have here. This is so cool. <coughs> and there was a sign here at one point, probably like BK Club or something. Really love this tile around the uh, around the menu thing here that we have on this countertop. And take a look at this, guys. All the soda machines are here. We have this soda machine here too as well. Looks like they just ripped the entire tops of them completely off. And look at this. These cabinets, though, are so cool. I know there's nothing probably under here, but still really cool to see something like this that still exists in today's age with everything. I was going to say, this looks like a coffee machine, which it's a coffee machine. I wanna get one more angle right over here for you guys. So I'm just letting you guys know. And then we'll go right under this right here too. Like, look at this menu board here, too. This is definitely so cool. You can see that they had, like, the the paper or, like, the, um, the plastic here to light everything up. Yellow, the blue. I was just trying to see what that said. Look at the old kitchen sign, too. This is probably for the drive through And this isn't like a very big drive through window right here as well. Usually the windows are pretty big. This is all rust. Stuff still plugged into the outlets here. 
at this. We have an intercom system here. I've never seen an intercom inside of like a Burger King. So that's pretty unique. But yeah, I wanted to come here for a little bit, this location, but I haven't had the time to come over here. And now we have the time to check this out, the full explore. I like this, this area right here where I'm filming for you guys. It's this nice little perspective of like what's here from behind the order counter. And we can take a look at the, um, the menu board too. Like look at the, the three and the four up there. That's so cool that that's still left there. I don't know if the other ones are still there. Oh yeah, look. Here's another one too, right here. That'd be so cool if there was like part of, um, yeah, two, eight, uh, six, and 10. Look at this, guys. This is so cool. Um, be cool if you could see like the burgers and everything and like the price they had back in the day. Little light box that we have going on here too. I forgot to show you too over here. There's um this internet like Ethernet cable here, but obviously right here they would get like the cups and everything like that as well. This is probably like um thing for like either sales or like maybe like just the Burger King stuff in general. I'm also trying to think here too like they definitely I'm thinking more it was on this wall right here is where they had their toy display for this uh, Burger King. Sorry guys I'm trying to get you a better view of this. We'll get one right here. Obviously, power does not work. But that'd be super cool if it did. Like, look at all this stuff just left here. We even have racks for displays, too. Oh, look at that. 2010. That's very interesting. Sorry, I thought you guys could see that a little bit better. Yeah, 2010 this closed. That's interesting that they kept this um, for so long, especially looking like this. And I feel like 2010 wasn't that long ago. So like stuff definitely does get pretty bad very quickly. But then again, that was pretty long ago. I'm also looking for like things that like don't exist anymore. So like they could cover this up, but like I'll look at PK big fish patty. Like there could be things under here that like no longer exist on the Burger King menu. Hash browns. So they kept the hash brown one, but they didn't keep the other one, which was this one. They swapped it out for finish. They have this one as chicken special. Oh, look at, they have the really old um, logo right there too. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for like an old logo or something as well. But yeah, they'd have like the fryers right here. This is what would keep it, you know, kind of hot for until they would grab it on the other side. Here's the switch thing that's like really hard to move but we just did it i don't know what this thing is but that's pretty interesting look at that one two three four five six we have this one too quality grade back here isn't that bad though the floor does kind of seep down a little bit, but other than that, it's not the worst. 
I'm stepping to here as well. And I know there's gotta be, look at this old alarm system. 2001 guys, this is, this is from, this is crazy. Look at this very old alarm system. You know, sometimes it's cool to look at this stuff because you can find like stickers or like other things too. So sometimes I look for that stuff. They had like an old computer monitor here. It's safe. This is them checking like stuff for the building to make sure that, you know, stuff wasn't leaking and other things like that. I really like this wooden window right here too. It's definitely older style. We have another office in here too. This is a smaller one. We have a office, break room, back, and front counter. But I like how this is like, you can stick like thumbtacks and things like that for um, hours and stuff like that for pieces of paper. Look at this mold, guys. This thing is mean. Obviously too, like I wanna show you this as well. So this is probably like their frozen soda machine that they just left here. It's cool how they can swap this out very easily. I wasn't too sure how hard that would have been to swap out. And then these are just for their frozen Cokes. This is more for like their cleaning stuff. And then right here was the ice, um, the ice. But look at the old, like how old that Coke thing is. Like, I haven't seen that in a while, especially when it says Coke it is. And then it says uh, experience the cold too. You see that in the corner. And then right here is just like storage for their stuff, which is weird because like you would think like they would have like a door here to kind of like keep the stuff cold, unless this is more like stuff for warmer stuff like the soda and stuff like that. But I wanna show you one more area over here. Cause these look like the coolers right here, obviously. And look how nasty these things are. So we're gonna go into the uh, black mold heaven real quick. Ooh. Yeah, no. I feel very gross going in there. Like we have a whole light fixture that just fell right here from leakage and everything else. Here's some more black mold for you. And these are tiny, tiny, like little areas to keep this stuff. We have another ice machine right here too. And this is obviously for the drive-through window for them to pick stuff up too. And in case you guys didn't know, this is more exhaust fan. And we're probably gonna take a look over here, the last thing, which is just this corner window. I have a cash register right here. This was probably in the manager's office because there's no way you're gonna be sitting doing this. But I like how they have this cool little light here too. And then monitor probably and other stuff all hooked up as well. But all right guys, Enjoyed this video, please make sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Peace.